Okay, today I'm going to be making a really simple bread. I call it rustic bread just because of the way it looks when it's complete, but it is a very simple bread. There's no kneading required for this and uh, <clears throat> only four ingredients. So we'll go ahead and get started. We'll start off with one teaspoon of salt, just regular table salt or sea salt, either one will work. And I'd like a Good full teaspoon of salt, three cups of all purpose flour. And next, we'll need one quarter teaspoon of instant yeast. And then I like to go ahead and mix everything up, get that yeast mixed in. And next we're going to add a cup and a half of hot water, and it's going to be the hottest water that will come out of my tap. And so I want to protect that yeast just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and add the water. That's it for four ingredients. We'll go ahead and mix this up. As you can see, it's a pretty shaggy wet dough. And all we want to do here is just make sure we have all the ingredients mixed in. So this needs to sit for three hours and it, I go ahead and just use a shower cap, cover it, and I like to set it on a, a pot holder, keep it off the cool counter, and then I'll throw a towel over the top of it. This kind of helps hold in the warmth so that that yeast can do its thing. And then it'll sit for three hours and we'll come back and get it ready to bake. Okay, it's been three hours now. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn the dough out onto a well floured surface. Then I'm gonna give it uh, six or seven strengthening folds and I'll shape it into a, a round loaf, otherwise known as a boule. Then I'll place it on some parchment paper and set it aside to rest while the oven preheats to 450. So while the oven's preheating, I'll place the cast iron Dutch oven in there to preheat with it as well. And that way we'll get a lot better oven spring once we start to bake the loaf. You can see that it's risen nice and gassy. We'll go ahead and turn it out. see it already starting to come together.
So I'll go ahead and place it on my parchment paper and then full bowl. And now we'll let that sit while the oven heats up to 450, which will take about 30 minutes. Okay, the oven is up to temperature now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready to go in. I'll score it. What a good score. And then it's going to go in the oven. And I'll go ahead and set the timer for 30 minutes. Take the bread out and we will pop it back in the oven for about five more minutes to darken up. Oh yeah, that looks good. Color on the bottom. So that's all there is to making that bread. Four ingredients, let it sit for three hours, throw it in the oven, and it's good, and the flavor is delicious. Okay, it's time to cut a slice of this. Still warm, but I can't wait anymore. Some butter on that. That's delicious. There you go. Delicious, simple, rustic bread. Hope you enjoy it.